Acumatica 2017 R2 features, marketing list, and campaign enhancements. With the introduction of the latest Acumatica software, you can now use generic inquiries to add members to both campaigns and marketing lists. This provides extreme flexibility with regards to how you add members to lists, how you market to campaigns, and how you can communicate leads with outside sources such as HubSpot. The overall campaign structure has not changed too much. You have a campaign which consists of members, leads, opportunities, and even business accounts. New to this area, you can out associate attributes with different campaign classes. The idea is that you would go ahead and create a lead. The lead can then be converted to a contact or a business account, generate opportunities. As the opportunities progress, you can create sales orders, which are then linked to the overall totals to the campaign. Let's go see how this looks in the software. To demonstrate this feature, I've created a simple generic inquiry. This generic inquiry is going to pull every customer that has purchased an Acer laptop computer in the last 90 days. I've done this by managing the conditions. As you can see, when I view this inquiry, a list of results is returned. Using this inquiry as input to my marketing campaign, I can go add members through the add new members feature. You'll see that this allows me, as before, to use a marketing list or an inquiry. Acumatica automatically selects all the inquiries where a contact ID appears. So in this case, my sales order campaign includes that. I could elect to create shared filters to apply specific filters, or I could go into here and apply rules directly to these grids. In this case, I'm just going to add all the members. As I do that, you'll notice if I switch back to my campaign details, I now have 13 members that have been added to my campaign. The contact ID allowed us to pick up this inquiry when creating members and adding them to either a campaign or a marketing list. So let's go back to our campaign and you'll notice that also we can track opportunities and sales orders. So we'll move this into the execution stage and we'll move over to an opportunity and we'll select the upsell campaign. In this case I've already pre-established the opportunity contain my Acer laptop computer. As I move this from open to one and create a sales order, I now have an opportunity in the open status, which if I go to my financial settings, you'll see under CRM, I have the upsell campaign automatically linked. If I switch back to my campaign, you'll notice that I also have an opportunity, a one opportunity, and a sales order that makes tracking this very easy in terms of my overall campaign success. Using marketing lists, you can also create a list that contains generic inquiries. We'll call this Acer Upgrade and we'll make this a dynamic list which enables this inquiry box. I'll select the inquiry, hit save, and you can see I now have a dynamic list which contains the same business accounts as well as the same contacts that I had previously. Overall marketing campaigns have been greatly improved to help you track success as well as to communicate those results into campaigns that might be used for mailing lists and other third-party marketing applications. Thank you for watching. <laughs>